Okay. Okay, let's chillax, Americans. Relax. I got you. Your fellow European is here to rate your fast food places. What do you mean no one asked for this? Look at all these comments that asked for me to rate your fast food restaurants. So I've been living here for almost three years now and I've been to most of fast food restaurants. So I'm qualified to rate most of these. Now starting off with Arby's, Arby's is, it's okay. Food quality wise, I'd give it a zero out of 10. Taste wise, I'll give it a five out of 10 because they have bacon cheesy fries and that's one of my favorite shits which a lot of fast food places don't have bacon cheesy fries surprisingly. So we're gonna put Arby's on the B tier. Next up Burger King. Burger King taste wise 8 out of 10. You never know when you're gonna find a dead rat in your food but most of the time it's okay and it's also pretty dry. I kind of like Burger King but the food being dry as shit a B A B A B A B A B A B B B B Chick Fil A. I've only been to Chick Fil A once, and I tried their spi spicy chicken sandwich. I know that they have amazing customer service. Taste wise, they're good, so I'm gonna give them an A. I feel like I'm being too harsh though. So far, I got no one at S and no one at personal favorite. Like, which one of these is my personal favorite though? I don't have any personal favorites, but let's put Dunkin' Donuts at S because their coffee is amazing. But then when it comes to their food, if you feel like getting a day off from your work, make sure you eat Dunkin' and then next day you'll be sick. So you can just go ahead and call your boss. Hey boss, so you know Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah, please don't tell me that you had something to eat there. I did. Oh my god, two weeks off at least. So coffee wise, amazing. Food wise, let's not talk about that. And for everyone asking, so lazy, what was the reason you moved to America since you've been living here for three years? Uh, the reason why I moved here. Chipotle. Now if you're like, oh Chipotle gives me diarrhea and shit. Maybe Chipotle gives you diarrhea because you're just a pussy ass bitch. Go back to eating your unseasoned chicken and your plain food. Chipotle is the real food. Honestly, quality wise, 9 out of 10. Taste wise, 10 out of 10. Are you getting diarrhea from it? That's not my problem. That's your problem for being a pussy. Next up, oof, KFC. Probably a... C. Like, the fact that it's lower than Arby's? Damn. The reason why it's lower than Arby's is because when you go to KFC and you look at their kitchen, you're not seeing people actually prepare the food for you. The employees at KFC are not people. They're rats. I talk shit about Burger King and I put it at B because, oh, B Burger King has rats? But, like, have you seen KFC's rats? Like, these motherfuckers are buffed. From working at KFC all day. Next up, Panera Bread. Now Panera has really good quality food, so I'm gonna put them at A, but price-wise, motherfuckers, I would put you below F how expensive you are for no reason. Yeah, this is me calling out Panera. Like, Panera, it's not like you cook the food there. You literally have frozen food. Most of your food is frozen that you just microwave it especially the bacon mac and cheese that you just microwave because it's frozen and you're charging me like 11 dollars for what for frozen food i might as well go eat the food that the rats made at kfc for like five dollars when i get a big ass bucket of chicken sonic so sonic i don't think i've ever had their fast food but i love their desserts like the peanut butter <laughs> classic shake that's my favorite but Sonic has made me realize that they're the only fast food place that they have a small, extra small, medium, large, and their shake has almost 1800 calories. That's death right there. You're supposed to eat like 2000 calories 
average day. While Sonic is like, here's our classic shake with 2,500 calories. In case you just want to pass out right here. So I'm going to give them a B maybe? Because taste-wise it's bomb, but it's not healthy at all. Did you say something? Huh? No, no more. I heard you burp. I heard you burp, bitch. The moment that you've all been waiting for. Now, what do you think I'm gonna rate McDonald's? A? C? D? F? Now, before you come for me, hate on McDonald's, say whatever the fuck you want. Taste-wise, you cannot beat McDonald's. I know everyone trash talks McDonald's all the time, but they taste good. Obviously, it's not healthy. They might use horse meat once in a while. Most of the time, all the time, I don't know about that. But taste-wise, no one can beat McDonald's. I mean, you're probably saying, oh, what about Chipotle? Chipotle doesn't sell burgers, so Chipotle is still my personal favorite because it's healthy and it tastes good. I live in Connecticut and the ice cream machine always works. FBI, open up! I've never been to a McDonald's here where they're like, oh, sorry, we can't serve you ice cream today because the ice cream machine is broken. Or maybe I say that because I'm using my European privilege because usually when I go to fast food places, I pull out a card and I'm like, European, you can't sell me that bullshit here. So that ice cream machine better be working, bitch. Uh, Taco Bell is known as the king of diarrhea. But still, I don't know why people keep complaining about diarrhea. I've only gotten diarrhea once or twice from Taco Bell from all the times that I've had it. So honestly, S tier. Food tastes amazing. Probably not the healthiest shit in the world, but if you're gonna eat a Taco Bell from all those beans that you're eating, obviously you're gonna get diarrhea once in a while. Plus it's cheap as shit. You can get a burrito for a dollar. A dollar for a burrito. Next up, Subway. Subway is like, uh, A maybe or B? I would place it A? Because I like the food, even though they were kind of exposed that their fish was not actually fish, but then it was unexposed that the fish was actually fish. But then it got decomposed on the exposure of exposing that it wasn't actually fish. But then they tricomposed it to its fish. So that's a mystery that we'll never know if their fish is actually fish, but they taste good, they can be healthy, quality wise, probably not the best, I'll give it an A. Popeyes is known for the best spicy chicken sandwich in America, and if you're saying, oh what about Chick-fil-A, they have the best spicy chicken sandwich, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, okay? Honestly just block me at this point, if you say that Chick-fil-A has the best spicy chicken sandwich, just block me. I feel like Popeye's ingredients are the same as KFC, but the spicy chicken sandwich is good, and it's honestly the best one ever. So maybe A, but it's competing with KFC when it comes to quality. So do we go B for Popeye's? I guess we just go B. Wendy's, very dry. I've only had it a couple of times. Very dry food to the level that it feels like it's drier than Burger King. Taste-wise, okay at best. Fuck it, KFC level. And the last one, believe it or not, I've never tried any of these ones besides Five Guys. Five Guys I tried two years ago and extremely expensive. Why? You're a fast food place. Why is your food so expensive when you're a fast food place? And it took me like half an hour for what? For fries. Fuck you, Five Guys. Yeah, it's personal. So uh, what do you guys think about this list? I'm pretty sure a lot of you will be mad at me for putting McDonald's S. I can even put it as a personal favorite, but I'm not. Let me know which one is your personal favorite and which one do you think has the most rat employees out of all of them. I would really like to know who you think is the lowest quality and like the worst fast food place. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe and the bell icon. And also just a quick message to McDonald's. So like. When are you guys bringing back those uh, cheesy bacon fries? It's been two years since the last time you brought them. So like, what's going on? Who do I have to kill?